So check this out guys, this reminds me of, have you ever seen that movie with Keenan and Kel? That's not their real names, but you, you know what I'm on about. Welcome to Good Burger, the home of the Good Burger. Anji Kuzi, what's going on guys? I hope you're all having a good Ramadan, FYI. This is pre-recorded before you man start bashing me. So I've actually landed in Rodham at a place called In It Burgers. Now these guys do a variety of burgers. The menu is small. I've just gone inside and had a little peek. Now the reason I've landed here is you know I'm weird, wonderful and wacky. But these guys do a deer venison burger and I've never really tried that. I've been told that deer meat is a bit more leaner than your standard beef burgers. But also it's not as juicy and tender. I'm up for it guys, I like finding hidden gems, new spots that I've opened up and you know, I've never tried deer meat. There was a place in Bradford that used to actually sell deer meat handy, but that place closed down and I think Manjaro's is based there now. But guys, let's stop waffling, let's get inside and let's see what it's all about. landed inside it looks like a swanky place there's a little bit of flower walls here and there and you know what my boy Ali says when it comes to flower walls but we're gonna put that Teddy and uh, Teddy to test and see if he is right or wrong but guys there's a little slogan that they've got here that I seen outside on the window and also here inside on the wall the taste is not from what's on it it's from what's in it so kind of guessing that's where the name came about from so menu pretty straightforward basic they've got um, four burgers so you get a 100% beef burger a venison deer burger chicken fillet and a vegan to be honest you know me i'm not really into my veggies that much chicken fillet you get that wherever you go um i have come here for the venison deer burger like i said guys i've never had deer meat so it's something that is uh taking me out of my comfort zone but hopefully um, i'm gonna be able to enjoy that so I think I'm probably going to go for a venison deer burger and as you can see here guys they've got lots of options where you can basically top the burger up with uh, like sides, cheese, hash browns, mozzarella steaks, turkey rashes, pepperoni, that kind of stuff. So literally it's like build your own burger. Forget build your own bear, build a bear, it's build your own burger. So they've got a lot of sauces, plenty of veggie options under the let's get healthy subsection but you know me man doesn't do his salad salad makes me skinny so yeah let's carry on um i think i'm gonna go for a venison burger and a beef burger right guys the food has arrived so i went for some wings as well i thought you know what, let's try the wings out and then my personal favorites the flat tips you know man cleans these up hopefully they cook to perfection so i can do one soup clean one bite everyone knows the rules so it takes around 10 15 minutes for the burger you know, so I've asked them to make the second burger once I'm done. I'll let them know. So this is the venison burger, guys. I'm going to unwrap this and show you guys what's in here. It looks really massive. Practically nearly as big as my head. So check this out, guys. This reminds me of... Have you ever seen that movie with Keenan and Kel? That's not their real names, but you, you know what I'm on about. Welcome to Good Burger, the home of the Good Burger. It's massive. Juicy. So basically, I've gone for a venison deer burger and you have options of actually having cheese in the burger, not on top of it. And I've also opted for some green chilies in there, some jalapenos and a hash brown. Big, juicy, meaty burger. I've also gone for some house sweet chili and spicy mayo. That mayonnaise is quite decent, you know, I've had a little... Wow. You know, usually when you don't have something and you're not used to eating it, you always have this like fear in your head, like, what's it going to taste like? Am I going to like it? But I like getting out of my comfort zone. And you know what? This itself is cooked well. You know, the outside has got a nice bit of charring, if you guys can see here. But inside, 
for me personally, I think that's the perfect texture and consistency when it comes to a burger. It's not dry. It's not as juicy as a beef burger, but I've been told deer meats like that. Any one thing that this place stands out from other places is that you're building your own burger. So you are in control of what you want in your burger. You're in control of what you want to create. And you know what? I love jalapenos. I love spicy mayo. I love green chilies. And it's nice. It's spicy. It is flavorsome, but it's not overpowering. You know, normally when you put chilies into a pizza or burger and the lale at the back, just whack them on top. And then that's all you get, like potake in your mouth for the wrong reason, not the right reasons. So there's enough chili in there to balance the flavors out. Now the hash brown itself, let me just take another bite. Because I just want to stop talking and eating, guys. I can't believe it. And I am going to drop it. It's just I'm trying to process everything that's going on right now. Obviously, you guys will be fasting right now alongside me. Because this is going to uh, be edited and uploaded. The YouTube and Facebook side of it for Ramzan. Whew, that's taken me by surprise. I'm not going to lie to you. Genuinely, I came here with low expectations. And the reason is, is because, you know, like I said, when you haven't had something before, your mind plays games with you. But that's taken me by surprise. Let me take another bite and let's see if I am going to drop it or not. I think I am, but let's take another bite just to make sure. guys that meat is soft you know usually when you get a burger the patty or the salad will one or the other will be overpowering and it's very very hard to get it right where everything just sits well within the burger and complements each other now that's what this burger is doing i can't believe it like seriously so many months have recommended so many places in rotherham and i've never been but someone said to me, look, you need to land here. They do a deer burger, a venison burger, and you need to check it out. It's somewhat different. And I thought, you know what? I like being weird, wonderful, and wacky. So why not let's land in Rotherham and check it out. I've got some wings as well. Flat tips, the best ones about in the game. You do get your little niblets and stuff, which are nice. They're chunky. I prefer these, man. They just come clean off the bone most of the times. So I'm just going to prep this and get it ready. So hopefully we can do one clean swoop. Just look at that bad boy there. These are the standard wings. They look fried, but the brothers told me they grilled. They are kind of looking clean, not that oily and greasy, but let's go for it. Bismillah. Wings cooked well. Comes clean straight off the bone. It's got a nice taste to it, good flavor. But for me personally, I would have preferred, and I'm going to give them feedback once I leave that, you know, if they have some kind of option to add a, a sauce onto it, like a barbecue sauce, I think that if I, if that had a barbecue sauce on there, it would have taken it to the next level. Um, the taste and flavor is there. It's a decent wing, you know. But like I said, if they had some kind of sauce in there, maybe like a barbecue sauce, that would have gone from a decent wing to a banging wing. But look at that guys, it comes clean straight off the bone. Before the other burger comes out guys, I just thought, you know, that burger was so good, I forgot to drop it. Even though I did mention I'm going to drop it, bite after bite, that venison deer burger is doing that. <coughs> Smashed it. I'm a bit gutted guys. It is not because of the food. Don't get me wrong, I do like Sprite, but... You know me, man's addicted to iron brew. AG bar, hook a brother up. Get me out of the hood, man. I love your drink. Unfortunately, these guys don't do it. At the end, when I give them my feedback, I always do that before I leave a place anyway. Give them my feedback and see if they can improve on anywhere. You know, make anything better to my taste buds and liking. But guys, it's a bit of a sad day. I can't believe it. They don't have no iron brew. But it's not that bad. It's not that, you know, it's not the end of the world. But... Sprite's good for you. Gets them to car out. Gets you to burp. Helps you digest the food. Oh. Now them guys not having iron brew. Didn't make me cry. But this definitely did. You can see the tears rolling out. Of course. Man's not Marvin. I have had 
that deer burger and it was absolutely delicious something totally different to what i normally have um i did kind of go out of my comfort zone i was a little bit wary but you know guys don't always think that you know oh if i don't try this i don't try that um it's not going to be nice like i don't like onions there's a reason for that raw onions caramelized onions onions in handi in curries onions in uh, kebabs and stuff like that i absolutely love it even onions in like lasagna i'm fine with it it's just raw onions because the box standard take is what they end up doing is is that they have 99 percent onions one strand of lettuce and half a tomato and a quarter of like a cucumber that's the reason why i've been scarred for life i've got ptsd when it comes to onions i don't know what ali's backstory is but guys i think the brothers bringing out the next burger the beef burger that i've ordered now this is going to be a big and beefy one because i went a bit wacky and, and got a lot of stuff in there okay i like the way they double wrap it the last well yeah it is double wrap the last burger came in double foil now this one is the same now like i said this is a beef whoa 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 whoa, whoa. ladies and gentlemen we have left off wow just look at that guys so we've got some mozzarella sticks in there turkey rushes you've also got some pepperoni and that big beef burger at the bottom like i said it reminds me of good burger and armando burger if you remember that movie from keenan and kel let me just do a little bit of uh presentation for you guys let's put it back in the foil let's go like this let's let, one minute one minute this is a big burger so you know let's see if any uh, fast food take i'm not gonna be doing it at the speed that you guys normally do it you know the ones who work out in these restaurants and takeaways but still i'm gonna go at my own pace because i want this to look nice i take pride in my work and i take pride in what i do but just guys wow just look let me just tear a bit off the side here and let me tear a bit of this side <laughs> It is literally build your own burger here. Just look at that. This is absolute madness, guys. Wow. So it's not like a standard menu item. This is something that I've created myself. So it's got a beef patty there. It's topped off with some turkey rashes, some pepperoni, and some mozzarella sticks and cheese. And just look at how that cheese is just oozing out everywhere. Wow, on that beef patty, I'm not gonna lie to you, it does look really, really, really nice. This is a big burger, man. You know, you can't really go wrong when it comes to this because you're technically in control of what you're creating, you're building your own burger. Obviously, when it comes to the quality of meat and stuff like that, that's down to the guys behind in the kitchen. But let me just get it out of the wrapping because everything's going all over the place. These, oof, I can't believe how big this is, man. It's massive. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get one bite on there. We're gonna try if it does get a little bit messy let's get a bit of tissues in here for backup bismillahirrahmanirrahim mm. i'm gonna do one thing guys I'm going to take these out. And the reason is because I asked for them to be in there. I don't think they should go in there. Because there's a lot going on. That beef patty is nice. It's juicy. There's a lot of flavor in there. And that in-house chili sauce and spicy mayo is next level. But what I'm really loving about this is, is that, you know, you get that flavor coming through the beef. But also the turkey rashes and this pepperoni for me personally it's nice it's salty it's got a little salty kick to it i would have preferred if it was just slightly a little bit more crispier pepperoni is absolutely fine like that you can eat it there's nothing wrong with it but for me personally i would have just preferred if it was a little bit more crispier but besides that that is a really really good burger there's a lot of flavor in here it packs a punch Now that I've taken the mozzarella sticks, I just took that burger from like a 7.5 out of 10 to like a 9 out of 10. I genuinely do like mozzarella sticks, but like I said, I built this burger myself. I took them mozzarella sticks out and wow, it just changed the whole 
dynamics and turned everything upside down. You get me? I'm not a DJ or an MC, so I'm not trying to spit bars here, but literally, this is next level. I can't believe it that Rodham's got a place like this where, you know, you wouldn't expect it. Like, when it comes to burgers, you've got Bradford and Manchester that are leading the game. You've got um, Birmingham that's kind of running up. But you've got this dark horse that is in Rotherham that a couple of people have recommended. And the only reason I'm going to be straight up with you guys that I came here was because of the deer burger. But this beef burger itself is absolutely delicious. It's banging. And like I said before, the mozzarella sticks, while they were in this burger, that burger, like I said, was a 7.5 out of 10. But once I've taken the mozzarella sticks out, it's just changed the whole dynamics altogether. That beef with the turkey rashes and the pepperoni is next level and like i said to you it's a solid nine out of ten and bite after bite is doing the <laughs> i tend to go for smash burgers because they're a bit more uh, thinner you know that crust on it and they're slightly a bit juicier for me what tends to happen is when you go to normal apne takeaways who do beef burgers and not the processed ones fresh homemade type beef burgers they end up overcooking it and what ends up happening is that the burger ends up becoming like Gandhi's flip-flops. You get me? They become rubbery. But this is nothing like that. It's nice. It's juicy. There's a lot of flavor in there. But guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the video off here and I'm going to carry on munching this vid uh, not video, this burger. Look, I'm that excited to eat the burger that man's rushing it. But guys, I would appreciate if you've enjoyed this video to hit that like button. Do comment and share. Please hit that subscribe button as well. Man needs to get out of the ghetto. But anyways, on that note, on that bombshell, I'm going to lick this video off and do hit that subscribe button, guys. Because like I said, it's very, very hard to grow on YouTube. Man's trying to get out of the ghetto. Anyways, guys, I'm going to catch you later. Wee -oo.